Hello, exercise number 15a, and this is quite important for you all guys because in this exercise I would like to show you how to edit features geometrically. So we are confronted here with a setup of fire hydrants, water lines, and water valves. And in this project, we would like to uh, connect water valves with fire hydrants using water lines. So, first of all, let's go with the bookmark and search for new water lines. You have it, so these are water valves and they should be connected with that fire hydrant. Uh, for this tool, we will need something like an editing feature or edit feature tool. So, what you can choose is this little button, the editor toolbar, or you can go using customize toolbars and search for editor. Here it is now the editor toolbar. As you can see, it's grayed out because we are not in an editing session. So what we would like to do is we would like to start an editing session. And now you're confronted with, okay, you would like to create features, set above here, where the fire hydrants, parcels, water lines, or water valves. And uh, according to your selection, the construction tools you can use are selected. So fire hydrants you can point or point at end of a line with parcels which is a polygonal feature. You can say uh, switch to polygon, rectangles, circles, ellipse, freehand and autocomplete. Same as uh, or nearly the same as water lines. You can easily choose to use it uh, to create a line, a rectangle which is set up by a line circles, ellipse or freehand. So what we'll do is we will create a new waterline and here you can see now we are already here using the straight segment tool. I'll just click in here so you can easily create something like a very complex feature by double clicking it will be finished. So now just pressing delete and our feature is gone. There's also the edit tool, so if you have created a new line, you can, oh sorry for that, you can uh, edit vert vertexes with that or something else. So, but let's start very simple. You will create a feature using water lines and straight segment and we will connect 763 with 813. Double click and we are gone, or we are done. But, well, it's not that straight. Let's have a look here in, in the detail. They are not connected to uh, our water walls. And this is very essential for your everyday work. If you are working with networks, topology elements, or you need to have a connection between one feature and another. So what we need to do is we need to snap at the end to this point. So what can we do? No, you will use that feature here and just press on delete and in the editor file you have the snapping toolbar once again you can also go with customize toolbars toolbars and go to snapping so there's a snapping toolbar and as you can see you have different possibilities to snap there's a point snapping and snapping vertex snapping edge snapping i would like to show you all of them here in our project so now I'm outside. So uh, let's go with the vertex snapping and say we would like to create a new water line. Vertex snapping means that or each line is um, built up by several vertexes. So this means if you're near a vertex, it will be um, it will be um, projected on that vertex your new feature. So this will be um, connected. But as you can see, these points of vertexes in some sort of a way but they are not snapped or my line will not be snapped to these points therefore you have this point snapping tool so now we have points to be snapped to the points and also vertexes so it will be snapped to the vertexes the hardest snapping is the edge snapping so this will be now snapped to everything nearly except points because points is, is a separate thing. And then you have the end snapping. So if there's somewhere an end, so here's the vertex, vertex, vertex. This thing needs to have an end somewhere. 
I'm not sure where it is, but it is somewhere there. Uh, maybe don't use these both features. Okay, no end available here, and um, maybe in in a line segment or something. So we will stick with the point snapping. And one more thing is very uh, or or interesting is the options, and you can say uh, or you can choose your tolerance. So the default value is 10. Uh, maybe just to show you the, the difference, I will now go with 100 pixels. That means I can be very, very far away from the feature that has to be snapped and it will be connected to that point as you can see here. So there we are. So it's very hard. Um, or it's very hard snapping. Um, stick with the with a ten, otherwise uh, decrease or increase as your as your daily work needs you to do that. So I um, will now stick with the ten pixels, and it will connect the this valve with this valve by a double click. So now a new water line is connect uh, is um, or was created, and it will go from there to there once again with the double click and from this to my fire hydrant with double click and one more thing um, if you have if you've watched the last video you will uh, think about okay we have created something like a domain and we have added a new field and we have set that there is a default value in that field so let's have a look here on our water lines in the attribute table you can um, Go there for by right clicking and choosing the attribute table here. But you can also go here and use this tool. This will show you the attribute table of the um, of the current selected feature uh, in that here. So as you can see, the line type is now main. You can choose whether it is domestic material or not. But um, the default value was main, and it was, um, or it is a result from the domain we have created. So this is very important to know. Um, well, all the water lines are now connected with each other um, in this way, so you can easily try to connect them as well. So we'll now. Connect these both as well. So double click, zoom out a little bit to make a new selection. With that one, and once again back to that one, and yeah. Now, if you're finished with all your uh, with all your snapping and editing and something else, go on to uh, editor, save edits, and once again stop the editing session. Now all your changes are saved. You can have a look here on the attribute table. You can see the shape length, the line type is used the default with main and so on. So this is it for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for um, different editing features in the next video.